Welcome back everybody to another episode of Roll Through Fear. I'm Flower She Rolls and I am so stoked and grateful to be here spending time with you. Today we are going to go over top side honeys, alley-oop and regular. <laughs> So let's get right to it. There's not much that we are going to go over because we have already hit top sides with our top soles and getting into what that actually feels like. So this is really just footwork, uh, watching my body and as I go over it myself on the ramp, grinding it, stalling it, I will give the best pointers I've got for you. Let's get to it. Introducing Top Honey. <laughs> first things first, our beautiful warm up. Our legs are ready, our feet are ready to be alive. Came out forwards, everybody. <laughs> topsail. Topsail. Missing topsail right now. And top side, honey. Woo! I'm gonna stretch out my left and right hip because that warm up just woke them up right now this is the best stretch for your outside hips you just plant that foot in front of you like an acid we are doing the sisters of honey this is our soul footed honey this is our top side foot honey. And really the only difference is one is on top. Our top side honey is inside. Regular honey, top side honey. This way if I fall, it could be all hip. If I'm falling though, I'm gonna bounce into the ramp for best case scenario. If I'm falling on true honey, you're already inside of the coping, hopefully missing the coping. Because as you're finding out, if you're staying with me now, if you're progressing at your own pace, you've probably hit this coping a few times and it hurts. Best case scenario is to dodge the coping and fall into the ramp. If you have the footwork of your soul footed honeys, I have confidence that you are ready to lean inside Sometimes you're going to find this kind of a fall because you're not, you're not committing to riding the wave. You're not committing to being inside the ramp. You're thinking about the footwork too much. You're focused on how foreign it feels and that's just the process. That's okay, but expect this falling out, sliding out of the coping to happen. And it's all groovy, baby. It's all groovy. You get back up, you wipe off your hip, and you send it again. Getting closer. Sometimes you'll use that foot just to make sure 
your top side foot is connecting. Go back over regular honey for that back foot and keep them stuck together. If you haven't seen introducing honeysuckle video a couple weeks back, definitely go back, watch that one over for more technique. And then once you got that down, it's really just about feeling that top side foot connect inside of the ramp. You're gonna be feeling this more in your ankle than the regular honey. Top side is way more bent. You want those flexible ankles. If you're having trouble with your strength, you've got so many hours in the day. Invest in yourself and just take a minute to sit there on your toes, on your shoes, and lift, lift. It's gonna start strengthening your feet and all the muscles in your ankles. Then you could also do it the switch way, lift your toes off the ground. I don't recommend doing that in skates. That feels really weird. I'm not sure if it's doing what I'm saying that it's gonna do on your shoes, but whatever point is give yourself a little bit of time to strengthen your muscles skating is going to feel so much better for you when your legs are strong when your core is strong and the great part about all of this is that skating naturally does that for us but how bad do you want to progress? How badass do you want to feel? Then I promise you, if you give yourself time to strengthen everything just a little bit more, skating is going to feel flawless. Somebody recommended this in one of my videos. Last week I was trying to explain how it feels to go fakey in a grind. It was really hard to explain and somebody made it a bit more crystal clear for me. What we were touching on last week was kind grinds. If you're doing kind grinds, I think you have laced front royales. Or if you're doing sweat stance, you have laced front farves. These basic grinds, the ones that we do on our H blocks, the ones that we have touched in the beginning on the mini ramp, they segue into our top side grinds by just tweaking our foot a little bit. With the front royale, your body's already in the direction of going fakey. It's the same direction as going kind grind. One more time with this. Front royale to tweaking the foot to the side into kind grind. So if you've got your royales down on lock, you're not having any problem, these alley-oop grinds are going to click for you. Or the farves and the sweat stance. I mean, it's, it really is just a little tweak of your top side foot me, myself, and I because I didn't touch royales and that makes a lot of sense why sweat stance actually became a safety trick because I had front farves down very quickly. It, was, it just felt so good to front farve that tweaking my foot a little bit to go into sweat stance just clicked and then once you got sweat stance you've got kind grind. They all kind of just trickle effect into each other and it's super sick. With these top side tricks, remember to throw your body into them a set, a smidge more. Throwing your arms is going to throw your hips into the stall. Because our feet are stuck together, our feet are secure, 
They're activated with strength. Have your entire body activated right now as we try to go in our tiny angle and grind. Inside of the ramp, we're riding the wave and we're strong. Let's go back to our stall. That feels good. It's so sticky still. All right, well, I'm going to give a couple coats of wax on the mini because I haven't yet. And I'm going to have a session with these top honeys. my three plus threes. I want to reassure you that falling is not as bad as we think it is. And sometimes our bodies just need to take a couple spills to fully wake up and to understand it for ourselves that, wait, my body can handle it. Especially starting on the mini or on smaller ramps. I just want to be your voice in saying that if you're padded up, you've got your knee pads on and wrist guards on in the beginning. Um, you've got your helmet on. You're gonna be good when you fall into the ramp. I send you security in yourself, in your truth, that it's no type of embarrassment or humility when you fall. Even though when people fall, I have to laugh because <laughs> it just looks, I laugh at myself. I know it, look, I know it looks funny, but, but if we can just overtake that thought with yeah I took it to the ground that's sick that means I'm learning I'm gonna get back up and I'm gonna do it that changes everything that changes the power within us and who we actually are we have so much more strength that's just hidden deep within that we have to unlock and that's what we're doing Yay! all right thank you for joining me on how to topside honey and alley topside honey stick with me this Thursday, we are going over how to Machio before we get into the last two grinds on the mini ramp, which are fish brain and alley -oop fish brain. But I wanna go over how to Machio first. I think it'll be a nice segue into the top side trick of Machio. So uh, yeah, we'll see you Thursday. Thank you again for sticking here with me. And I love you as a sister and stay patient, stay positive. You got a lot of things around you that might be chaotic or stressful, but just know that there's people out there that love you and that are spreading the light as well. So do it with me. I'll see you guys very soon. Jeez.